So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. Make sure that it's not being disabled. Make sure that you have it enabled. In my case, it's been disabled, so now I'm gonna right click on it and I click on enable, which is now gonna enable it. See if that works for you. If it was already enabled when you got here, then for the second method, you're gonna double click on your network adapter and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version four. Make sure that you have obtain the IP address automatically selected and obtain DNS server address automatically also selected. So basically the default options. Keep it on the default options and then click on okay. This should not fix your problem. For the next method, you're gonna head up with search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand network adapters. Now you're gonna find your network adapter. Here's mine right here. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. For the last method, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Now you're gonna type in NTSH space winsock space reset. Click on enter again. Now you're gonna type in NTSH space INT space IP space reset. Click on enter again. Now you just wanna restore your computer and then the problem should be fixed.